Let's say we have some data on the number of siblings eight people have. Well, we need to enter that information into the calculator. To do this, we press the Stat button, which is near the cursor keys. We then want to edit that by entering those values in, so we press Enter or 1 on Edit. You can see there are five lists available to us, and we can add more if we need them. But for now, I'm going to focus on list 1 and enter the values of number of siblings for each person. We enter the values just like on a spreadsheet. For example, zero siblings, followed by the Enter key. We keep repeating that process until all eight pieces of data have been entered. To confirm that we only entered eight people, we scroll up to the last value, and it does then the bottom left-hand corner confirm list one, eight values. Now we can calculate with this information by going to the home screen, which is second mode, or quit. We now want to get some statistical calculations on that data. How do we do this? Well, from the home screen, we go back into stat. And then you'll notice across the top, rather than going to edit, where we enter the values, we go across to calc, which stands for calculate. There was only one variable. That was the number of siblings. Press enter on number one, and then you'll see the following screen. As you can see in one var stats, the default setting for list is list one. This is perfect as this is where our data is stored. We don't need to worry about frequency list as we only have one piece of data for each person. So we arrow down to calculate and press enter. We now have a richness of results. We have the mean x bar of 1.625, summation values if we need to use those in other calculations, both the sample and standard, sample standard deviation and population standard deviation, N is the number of terms we typed in, which is correct, there were eight people, and our five number summary. Minimum value, lower quartile, Q1, med, the median, Q3, the upper quartile, and max, the maximum value. That allows us to work out the range, max minus min, and also the interquartile range, Q3 minus Q1. We can now get the graphics calculator to produce us a box and whisker plot of this. So how do we get the graphics calculator to produce us this box and whisker plot? Well, it's a stat plot. This button is in the top left-hand corner, and we press second y equals. You'll notice that we can type up to three plots, but for now we're going to focus on plot one. Either press one or the enter button. We're now in plot one. We need to turn it on by pressing enter on the on word. Arrow down to type and change it to the box and whisker plot with outliers. This will automatically give us x list list 1 and a frequency of 1 which is perfect. This will now produce us a box and whisker plot in blue. To get this we simply press graph and what a beautiful graph it is too. We can see that it's on the standard minus 10 to 10 axes. To adjust this there's two main ways. One is to go into window and manually change it but a quicker, slightly lazier way is to go into zoom and press number nine, zoom stat. This will zoom in around the statistical data that we have and produce a nice box and whisker plot. Again, if we want to know those values for the five number summary, we can press trace. That gives us the median, the lower quartile, Q1, the minimum. And if we scroll to the right, we can find the upper quartile, Q3 and the maximum. Thank you for watching this tutorial on statistical analysis and producing a box and whisker plot. I hope you enjoy learning more with your TI-84CE and thank you for watching. Bye for now.